Today, two experts of destruction and masters of terrain will fight to the bitter end. White Bomber the Bomberman. And Taiza Hori, aka Dig Dug. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Bomberman is a psychopathic cyborg slave forced to duel other slaves to the death in dimly lit maze-like arenas for the entertainment of alien terror. No, no, not that Bomberman Boomstick. White Bomber the Bomberman, an alien robot warrior from the planet Bomber who belongs to an intergalactic police force protecting the galaxy. Oh, well, his method of saving those planets is blowing the shit out of them, so he's alright with me. Right, Bomberman cares little for the environment he is supposedly protecting, making him an unpredictable opponent. Bomber's answer to every problem is explosions. Got a locked door? Blow it up. Behind on taxes? Blow them up. Have a naggy wife? Blow her ass up too. His arsenal consists of bombs, bombs, and more bombs which usually take about two or three seconds to detonate. And while the explosions start off small, <laughs> they can be upgraded to destroy an entire acre all at once. Plus, he can charge a bomb up to over four times its size for maximum destruction. While blasting his way through planet after planet, Bomberman finds numerous power-ups buried beneath the Earth. Bomb Up gives him extra bombs, Accelerator increases his running speed, Armor gives him temporary immunity, the Explosion Expander gives his bombs a power boost, and Bomb Kick and Power Glove let him kick and throw bombs at his own leisure. And when he picks up Super Bombs, you know he means business. I'm talking T2 Judgment Day business. Bomberman can also hatch and tame wild Rui's, kangaroo-like creatures which give White Bomber a distinct advantage in battle. Each Rui has a different ability, though generally they're very fast, have incredibly good jumping skills, can step over bombs, and sacrifice themselves for Bomberman if need be. Kinda like Yoshi's. Which brings up Bomberman's weakness, his own weapons. If White Bomber's careless, he can easily get caught in his own explosion or trap himself between a wall and his dropped bombs. Yeah, Bomberman's pretty good at blowing shit up. But he's not so hot when it comes to defusing his own explosives. But he survived through a crap ton of games, leaving behind many smoldering piles of rubble that used to be planets, towns, and families. I did it! Dig Dug is an expert excavator and executioner. He consistently traverses the underground to slay dragons. His real name is Taizo Hori, which literally means I want to dig. He is also the father of the more recent phenomenon, Mr. Driller. Dig Dug has two loves in life, digging and killing. His main weapon is one of the most cruel and deadly weapons I've ever seen. It's pretty much a cross between a bike pump and a harpoon. An odd weapon which I would normally question the efficiency of. But when he stabs you with it, <laughs> You're gonna wish you'd die any other way than what Mr. Dig Dug has planned for you. The average human body can only take around 15 pounds per square inch of air pressure before death is assured. Every time Dig Dug pumps, over 10 PSI is injected into his victim, quickly immobilizing them. Two or three pumps later, Dig Dug's target combusts. That is one horrible way to die. Imagine after being impaled, you're then slowly filled with air until you explode. Oh man, this guy is sick. Dig Dug also has a jackhammer which he uses to burrow through the earth at an unimaginable speed. He has total control over his terrain and can maneuver through the ground just as easily as walking through an empty field, climbing and crawling without slowing down. That jackhammer can even force entire islands to split apart. But the strangest thing is the sound it makes. You'd think a jackhammer would sound like this, but Dig Dug sounds like this. Actually, Boomstick, that sound seems to occur every time he takes a step, not just when he's drilling. So, what? It's his feet? Man, that would get really annoying. No wonder this guy's a psycho. Dig Dug possesses great physical endurance, climbing and digging tirelessly for unprecedented amounts of time. And yet, he is easily defeated when tackled by a tomato with eyes. What? Yes, Dig Dug battles both ferocious dragons and living tomatoes. Who in the hell thought walking tomatoes with goggles were on par with fire-breathing ghost dragons? All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. But first, I spilled some coffee on my Space Dinosaur t-shirt, and I need to get another, but where? Why, at Busted Tees, of course. With Busted Tees, it doesn't matter if you're into video games, movies, science fiction, or just wrapping your torso with something weird, Busted Tees literally has you covered. Hey, Wiz, check it out. Somebody made a shirt of that one time I punched that shark in the face. Yeah, we ate like kings. You may have seen a busted tea or two pop up in movies and TV shows. Now you can grab one for yourself. Head on over to bustedtees.com to find the shirt of your dreams. Your bizarre, hilarious dream. Enter the promo code DEATHBATTLE and receive 10% off your order. But right now, it's time for a DEATH BATTLE! <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
fight. Dig Dug is a difficult opponent for anyone to beat, not for brute strength, but maneuverability. Dig Dug had complete control over the terrain right off the bat, while Bomberman was forced to rely on his power-ups for success. Digging the fight into the ground gave Dig Dug a huge advantage. Even after it looked like Bomberman took the lead, Dig Dug proved he could control his opponent just as much as he can control his environment. Bomberman sure went out with a bang. The winner is Dig Dug. Next time on Death Battle. I am Shadow, the ultimate life form. And I am the Prince of all Saiyans! Got an idea for a death battle? If you're a subscriber, leave your suggestion in the comments below. And be sure to like and favorite the video to help support the show. Thanks for watching.